Oh boy. Bunch of fuck bunch of fuckery going on. I just so I was approached at Walmart to start a checking account. I got on the spot and it was a cute chick and I said sure. <laughs> um you know, it's really easy, no minimum, whatever. I'm like, you don't want me as your your customer, trust me. It could only be a negative branding on the brand. No, 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 you're, you're all, it's all right. And that, so I did it. They put in my email address, dwpaull one at gmail.com. The email address that I use for everything, it's not a valid email. <laughs> um, which begs the question, why didn't Chime, the banking, online banking, let me to know that that's not valid. They accepted the email. <clears throat> so, is it, does that mean that these YouTube videos don't make it on? Because that's associated with that same account. But I, it, it was receiving emails until I started my YouTube music restarted my subscription with that same name in Phoenix and like I had to jump through a thousand hoops to get it to accept my uh, Google Play dollars to start the account once I started that all of a sudden no more of the emails that I got daily on the thing and Chime didn't let me to know he said if you use D-W-P-A-U-L-L-1, that is valid. That thing kept coming up when I would use the email all the time when I was back in Illinois. Mine is 11. There's a DW Paul one that isn't mine that they use to intercept and fuck off everything I do. I don't not just think it's Google. I want to say Mark Nelson, Cliff Parrish. Last week, some fat ass just was like standing next to me. Yeah, uh, he just encroached upon me or something. And then he did this face and I said, Mark Nelson. This guy literally ran away. This fat ass ran away down Indian School Road in Phoenix, Arizona. Big ass burritos, big ass Mark Nelson and his um, lovely cum dumpster, Vicky. Now I'm saying that in anger because that guy kept close tabs on me. I don't know why, because he's a um, one of the local leaders uh, of chattel industry in Illinois. And he had an idea, big as burritos, B-A-Z, big A-Z, burritos. Um, so why doesn't Chime, why did Chime accept my email address? but it's not valid. It's total deception and fraud. I don't think it's, I'm not saying it's Google's fault. I want Google to help me rectify it. How the fuck does one get a hold of Google to where they're gonna give a shit? Now for two or three years, I paid subscription for them to keep um, 100 gigabytes, then 200 gigabytes, then a terabyte of data of my mind, which was, uh, for my writing, uh, my YouTube thing is just like it was directly correlated when I started to subscription again. It, um, I double both here, things I play. One that if anyone wanted to find out, here's the guy doing all this. This digital wild is the biggest fucking fuck job. It is so damn frustrating. And it's like I swear this has paid my life. They a bag last week which had hundreds of pages of handwritten 
this weren't used yet. So I was still utter, I, I, I had a bag of 50 pounds, all of those three notebooks, and a up that a Google Chrome, which was broken and which was shit. Any I wanted to say fuck this, except for the, but that's what they want me to. I just entreat because I was asking to my email after the 22nd. I don't receive the USPS daily delivery thing, which shows you informed free for the post office. I didn't receive that. I stopped receiving myself from myself. New writings I'm doing. I can use it. So, like, somebody has just this guy.